Hi everyone, my name is Rachel and I'm a local online and in-person art tutor and today I'm going to be sharing with you an art tutorial on how to do a simple monoprint at home. Now for this monoprint I'm going to be using some basic block printing ink which I got off Amazon, a roller, some cartridge paper, a pencil, a glass chopping board which has a, um, a one side which is completely um, smooth it doesn't have any grains in it so I can easily roll the ink onto it which I also got on Amazon for about a fiver and a beautiful flower that I got in a bunch of flowers from Sainsbury's that I'm going to be drawing from today. Now let's get cracking. So, for this mono print, I'm going to apply a small amount of ink to the center of my chopping board. I may need to add more ink, but I often find that I add too much ink when applying. I'm then going to roll out the ink into roughly neat square and trying to apply it um, evenly across this space. I can see here that it's not quite even just in this little space there. So I'm going to add a slightly bit more ink and then evenly roll that out. So I roll, use the roller in both directions in order to make it even, be spread out. And when I have enough ink, I'm listening to hear if it's got too much ink on there. It's a little bit tacky at the moment, so I'm going to keep spreading it out. Okay. When I have done that, I'm going to take my piece of paper and I am going to place it I'm going to on the ink and I'm going to make sure that I don't move it or apply pressure where I maybe don't want my image to be drawn. And then I'm going to take my flower and I'm just going to place it next to me so I can draw it. I'm actually going to turn this chopping board around because I think it'll be easier to draw it this way around. There we go. And now I'm going to, fur um, well, not too firmly, but I'm just going to draw like normal as I would, start to draw the flower, the outline, being careful not to make indents on the paper where I don't want there to be any um, ink so because wherever I put this pencil and draw into the ink the ink will be transferred onto the paper from behind and will make a mark so you might not be able to see this at the moment because it's only a light pencil, but I will hopefully show it you in a second and you'll be able to see what I've been drawing. When you're drawing an object, 
make sure that you spend more time looking at the thing that you're drawing than at the actual piece of paper. This way you're more likely to draw it accurately rather than allow your imagination to make it up. Now I've nearly drawn the basic outline of this flower um, and I'm just going to add some texture and some detail. Now mono printing is often used by um, fine artists or textile artists to do single prints. It's called mono printing because unlike printing like lino or dry point where you have a plate that can be used um, many times over, mono printing can usually only be done the once, hence being called mono printing. I'm um, filling in areas that I want to be darker and leaving other areas white in order to create um, a suitable contrast. People often feel that they have to have um, a full studio with printing presses and um, all sorts of things in order to um, just do some simple prints. But you'd be surprised to find how many types of printing you can just do from home. Especially mono printing. Mono printing is probably one of the easiest types of printing that you can do. Now in this print, I've only used one colour, um, just because I wanted to do something quite quick and I like the moodiness that is created by it also being monocoloured, um, just black and white. But you can use any colours you, you like with mono printing. I could have um, added several different colours to this by just rolling out different colours together. And so I encourage you that if you want to try this, um, why not experiment with different colours and see what combinations work well together. But of course, obviously, the more colours that you require, the more ink you've got to buy. Now, I found that with this particular ink, um, it dries out quite quickly. But with mono printing, it doesn't seem to matter too much. I'm just going to do a little bit more and then we'll peel it off and see how it is. Um, one of the challenges of mono printing is that you might be really tempted to peel it off early and see what it looks like. But if you do that, when you, you can't, unless you have found a suitable way to really uh, make it clear exactly where you laid your print your when you put it back you may get some unwanted lines on it from where you've drawn on it previously um, okay I'm gonna stop there hopefully you can see my drawing there and I'm just going to peel it off and let's see what the result is like. Uh, okay, so this is what my 
monoprint looks like at the moment. I would say that I probably needed to press onto this paper a little bit um, harder because this paper is a bit thicker than the paper I'm used to, I usually use. But you can still see it. It's the flower. And I might chop this up and use it in a collage or I could turn this into a cute little card or something like that. But really quick, really easy. And if you'd like to give it a go, then all you need is some ink, a roller, paper, pencil, and a chopping board. I hope that you found that this tutorial was helpful. And um, as you can see, there's the, uh, the marks that I was making. And I hope to join you for another tutorial soon. Bye.